Um, so, but yeah, all my friends are getting married now, and I feel kind of left behind. And I feel like every time I speak to one of my friends from home who's, get, who's married, they're always like, Esther, I'm telling you, the day that I met my husband, I just knew he was going to be my husband. I'm just like, that's, that's crazy. You're just lying, or you say that for every guy you meet in case he proposes to you. <laughs> it's obvious, okay? I know, I'm a girl, I do it too. Okay, if you're the barista at Starbucks and you've handed me my drink, I've already pictured you in a tuxedo with my family crying behind us. <laughs> Don't make eye contact with me unless you're ready to put a ring on it. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, all my married friends, too, always accuse me of being cheap because I never want to go out and do stuff. They're like, let's go get manicures. I'm like, I can't afford a manicure, okay? You're married. You have a double income, okay? When you're married, it's like everything is just 50% off all the time. <laughs> okay, there's a man at home who's just going to pay the bills no matter what you do. Like, it's great. I, I don't have that yet. I can't afford manicures. I haven't had a manicure since my sweet 16, which looks like it was a week ago, but I promise you it was 10 years ago. My hands are filthy. I can't even masturbate without giving myself a yeast infection. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to find a gynecologist on Groupon? <laughs> They're not there. 